my ute's starting to have a little bit of issue which is no good because I was planning on fixing my boat this week so we can go fishing. There are snap in the harbour at the moment but we've got problems. One problem after the other. I have a couple of days to digest the bad news. It's a broken head gasket. Not all bad news because I needed to change the cam belt anyway. So at the moment it's at the shop. It's getting the. It's been taken apart, and it'll be finished next week. Times like this, you just got to be thankful. Be thankful for what you've got. I did check it regularly, but I guess from now on I'll just check it every time I go on a long trip. It pays to do that. A few years ago I had a Nissan Navara 2007, did the same thing. I just have bad luck with motors when it comes to anything with a motor, it seems to break down. But once I get it fixed, they seem to work okay and last a long time. While my ute is getting fixed, they didn't give me a courtesy car. But that's okay. I've got a backup transport. And it's not too bad because it is now getting warmer. And I've been traveling with this bike for some time now. I brought this bike early this year to go up to Auckland to do my filming. And it has been one of the best thing I brought this year. 950 cc hopefully in a couple weeks I'll have this up and running again um, I'm just taking the battery out and getting it charged up because it was flat and then we'll look at this hydraulic thing I would like to get this on the water in the next couple weeks and do some fishing Alright, garden's going well. We've got some kale that's ready to be harvested. Heaps of mint. Green salad. And all our tomatoes are doing quite well. Just salad by itself sounds disgusting, to be quite honest. So we're going to dress it up. We've got some egg. I like salad with eggs because I'm not a vegan or vegetarian. A bit of dressing, which I'm running out of. Yep, it's all good. 
I gave some venison to my parents because they always give us meat and they have made some jerky out of it so I like the idea I like the um, I like researching about how other countries hunt and how other countries um, do their bushcraft where I'm from which is in the southeast of Asia what they normally do is they make jerky which is everybody know what a jerky looks like they make jerky and then they'll pack a bit of rice and on the field they'll cut a bamboo a big bamboo um, stalk and they'll fill it with rice fill it with water and then just put it on the fire and they've got rice which looks like sticky rice like this okay and so they'll pack their jerky and they'll just have sticky rice with jerky for their source of energy source of food and normally they'll dip it in uh, they'll also have a dipping sauce um, in my country it's called jowl isn't that right yes it's called jowl and but modern times you can just dip it in sweet chili sauce such as Southeast Asia when they go into the bush that's how they pack their food wait did that one have the chili sauce on it? Alicia do you like it? do you like that jerky? cool today I'm just going to teach Marco how to shoot a rifle we're just starting off with an air rifle. They're pretty much, um, they're pretty good. I like air rifles. Um, so it's just a cheap Chinese air rifle, probably 800 PS um, feet per second. Uh, with just a cheap scope on it. I'm just gonna load it up for him and just give it to him because he can't pull it back at this stage. He's having trouble closing his left eye, so I just told him to keep his hand there and Ready. take it away. Yep, go ahead. We're in the garage. No one can see us, what we're doing, just in case it spooks the neighbour. Ready. Go. When you're ready. 